Hi, Miss New. My name is student Dr. Lee, and I'll be like, uh, helping you figure out what's wrong with you and uh, examining you today. So, what can we do into the office today? Um, right leg pain. Yeah, right leg pain, okay. Uh, when did you start having this pain? Uh, maybe, I think like, um, maybe four days ago. Four days ago? Um, did you do something, anything special about it that kind of, uh, you, you start to have this pain? Um, well, I ran, I ran this, uh, I ran uh, the last couple of and days. And how many distances did you say you ran? Um, I think on Saturday I ran like seven miles. Okay, that's, that's the long distance. Okay, can you just show me with your finger where the pain is at? Okay. Uh, and then when the pain comes, how long does the pain usually last, you were saying? It's, um, it's sort of constant. But when I walk, it gets worse, and, um... Okay. This, this is, this, you're saying that there's consistently pain on your yeah. front leg, okay. And how would you describe the pain? Would you say it's sharp, dull? I think I would say, like, achy. It's aching pain, okay. And did you do anything to alleviate the pain, or to kind of alleviate the pain? Yeah, I, um, I tried to ice it. You ice it and got better, you felt better? And did you take any medication for no it? No medications. And did you, did you feel like you did something and made it worse? The pain got worse? Walking. Walking kind of hurts when you're walking. And then do you say the pain travels from here uh, to the anterior yeah. to somewhere else? Okay, it doesn't really, okay. And then um, how often do you get the pain though? How, how would you describe, how frequently you would say you would get the pain on a day-to-day -day basis? Um. At the end of the day, usually. At the end of the day, usually. Okay, and then how would you describe the pain from a scale of 1 to 10? 10 being the worst um, pain you ever felt. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10, okay. Alright, now I'm going to ask you a couple more, a uh, series of more questions to kind of get a better idea of um, the background information to help you alleviate this issue. Have you been ever hospitalized? No. Okay, and uh, do you have any adult illnesses or childhood illnesses that you know of? No, I'm pretty healthy. Okay. And in terms of immunization, are you up to date in all yeah, immunization? Okay. okay, how about medication? Are you currently taking your medications? No. Do you have any allergies? No. Okay, and did you have any trans uh, blood transfusions yeah. in the past? And uh, did you any suffer any um, depression or anxiety yeah. previously? Okay, all right, and moving on. All right, let's see, there's a couple more questions to ask. Uh, I'm just gonna ask you about your family history. Are any of your relative uh, parents or grandparents uh, have diabetes? No. High blood pressure? No. High cholesterol? No. Any kidney disease? Mm -hmm. Or a history of cancer, heart disease? Okay. Thank you. Anxiety yeah. previously? Okay. All right. And moving on to social history. How well, how would you say how well you sleep? Uh, how many hours? Pretty good. Eight hours. Eight hours? Okay. That's pretty good. Are you sexually active? No. Do you smoke? No. Okay. Um, what kind of, do you work? Where do you work at? Um, I'm a student. Okay, you're a student. How regularly do you exercise? Uh, four times a week. That's pretty good. Um, do you have any pets? Uh, no. No pets? Uh, in terms of diet, how would you say your diet is? Uh, it's pretty good, three meals a day. Pretty, you would say you're very healthy yeah, now? Yeah, pretty or healthy. You're pretty healthy, okay. Do you, do you, do, uh, do you drink? No. Um, do you do any illicit drugs? No. Recreational drugs? No. Are you married? Uh, no. Okay. Do you travel outside of the States no. recently? Okay, that's good. Alright. That concludes the basic uh, questionnaires, and then I'll be moving on to uh, dermatological examinations. Okay, so if you mind, can you scoot back a little bit? There you go. I'm gonna be examining your legs here. I'm gonna examine for any bumps. Okay. I'm gonna try most of the skin. Uh, there's no dryness of the skin. Checking for lacerations. There is no dryness of the skin bilaterally. There are no interdigital macerations uh, bilaterally. Uh, there are no hyperperitonic lesions visible. Uh, no ulcerations present. There's no. There are no pigmented lesions all bilaterally. Uh, no sign of tinea pedis bilaterally. And there are no open wounds bilaterally. Checking for the nails. Nails. All nails uh, one through ten on ten toes are uh, normotrophic. Okay. Now moving on to vascular examination. 
I'll be examining the pitot pulses. Okay, uh, pitot pulses are present uh, two out of four bilaterally. Okay, popliteal, two out of four bilaterally. Popliteal, two out of four on the left leg. Two out of four on the right leg, popliteal artery. Warm to warm, uh, proximal to distal. Uh, no sign of edema, no sign of uh, DVTs, chronic venous insufficiency. Um, normal color, skin, tropo, no, uh, normal bilateral, tropo, uh, no, normal changes of the skin color. Okay. Normal skin turgor bilaterally, no sign of varicose veins. Testing for capillary fill time. Normal capillary fill time bilaterally uh, from 1 to 10 toes. That concludes the vascular examination. This new I'll be performing the neurological examinations. First, I'll be performing a patella knee jerk. Two out of five patellar knee jerk bilaterally. Looking for the Achilles knee jerk, uh, Achilles uh, reflex. No, sorry. Okay, thank you. Two out of five Achilles <laughs> ankle jerk. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm gonna check for uh, Babinski sense. Can you scoot back a little bit, Miss? Can uh, see. Can you do it a little bit, the scoop out a little bit more? Yes, thank you. Push it against you. Okay. Uh, Babinski sign is normal. There are uh, no Babinski uh, negative on bilaterally. There are no Babinski pathological defects present on bilaterally. Okay, moving on. I'll be performing a sensory check. Now, can you please sit back over here, please? Gently scoot over. There's a glass over there. Okay. Now, you can see that I'll be performing your sensory test. You can see that I'm going to poke this with your uh, skin. You can tell it's, it's not sharp, it's just gentle plastic. So, now close your eyes and tell me if you feel anything. Do you feel that? Sun ranking test, you, both uh, sensory are intact bilaterally. I'm going to be checking for any sharp and dull pain. So, here. Okay. You can see that I'll be gently uh, poking with this. You can see that it's not that sharp. You can feel it here. And you just have to tell me if it's a sharp or a dull sensation that you feel. Now, close your eyes, please. Sharp. Okay. Dull. Okay. Sharp. Dull. Okay, good. One more time. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Okay. Uh, you have normal sensation of sharp and dull bilaterally. Now, for testing for vibratory senses, close your eyes and tell me when you feel the vibration and tell me when it stops, okay? Feel it? Stop. Okay, let me do that one more time. I didn't do it correctly. Feel it? Stop. Okay. Feel it? Stop. Okay, very good. So your vibratory senses are intact bilaterally. And now be uh, wiggling your toes up and down and close your eyes and tell me if the toe is up or down, okay? 
Okay, your proprioception bilaterally is intact. I'm going to do a two point discrimination test. Okay, so just to close your eyes and tell me if you feel two fingers or one finger. One. Okay, very good. Very good. Bilaterally, two point discrimination is intact. Now, moving on to musculoskeletal examination. Okay, Miss. Okay, Miss Neem, I'll be performing the musculoskeletal exam. Can you push against my hand? Uh, I just hold it. The right, like she notes, the patient notes that there is a pain on the right leg when she is plantar flexing. Okay, can you do it? Push it. Push against my hand. Very good. Yeah. Push it out. Sore. Push in. Okay, soreness on the right leg is noted. Okay, we're uh, performing ankle um, flexors and extensors. Uh, besides that, all the other uh, muscles um, is within, within normal limits uh, functioning. Now, looking at just the muscle tone, muscle tone is within normal limits. And I'll be performing a several score test to determine if you have any quietness. Less than 10 degrees with knee extended. Knee flexed. Less than 10 degrees. Okay. Less than 10 degrees. Less than 10 degrees. So the patient has positive test with civil score test. Patient has gastric solium quinus on both leg right and leg left. And that concludes the examination. Thank you very much.